In football, the under-17 African Cup of Nations is underway in Niger, with eight nations competing for the trophy. Hosts Niger lost 2-0 against Nigeria, while there were wins for Guinea and Mali. South Africa and Ivory Coast drew 2 all. To find out more about that game and how the tournament is proceeding, we can speak to the South African Football Federation's media officer, Namkla Mpelo, who is in Niger's capital, Niamey. Ms. Mpelo, can you tell us what the atmosphere is like? Is the under-17 fever high? Um, well, the temperatures are quite high before anything. Um, this is weather that we as South Africans are not very used to. The temperatures here are actually higher than our summer, and apparently it's not even summer here at the moment. South Africa lost a two-goal lead to Ivory Coast. What kind of game was it? Well, it was very high pace. The game was very high pace. Um, South Africa obviously were leading 2-0. And in the last 20 minutes, they, they conceded two goals. However, it was a good game. It was a good showing from the South Africans. And today they're working on, they're going to work on what, what, what the issues were, why we, we, why we conceded two goals so late in the game. Niger is also in the news now because of the threat of Boko Haram. What is the level of security like for the tournament? Uh, well, more than anything, because we have a, an eight nations tournament, there are very very detailed security measures being taken play being taken because of the eight nations that are here. So more than anything, we have a very high police presence and the military at the stadiums. However, we have not seen any threat of Boko Haram at the moment. Which team do you think has put down an early marker for the tournament? Well, at the moment, it's Mali. They won 3-1 yesterday. Um, the, the first two games of Group A were... They, they were okay, not very high pace, but Mali, Mali showed a, a very good showing yesterday against Cameroon, beating them 3-1. Ms. Mbello, thanks for speaking to Sports News Africa.